All right, hey, hey, everybody, welcome back to part four of our church scene. If you hear children playing in the background, as I'm sure you've probably noticed already, uh, my kids are homesick. Nothing I can do about it. So, in part four, we're going to be adding some texture to this tower here, this middle tower. Uh, if you look at the walls here, first floor, second floor, attic, and then these towers, they all look very similar. It kind of blends together. There's no real definition of of where it changes. I mean, yeah, there's these bars, but I don't know. It just it just feels off. It doesn't feel right. So what we're going to do is add some stone texture to this, and we we could we could pop a texture, an actual texture into this, but we're going to make like a physical texture. We're going to make some stones here. I don't really, in this art style that I'm doing, I'm not really using actual textures. I'm just going to be using uh, texture maps, which is basically this thing you see here on the left. Probably going to switch up and stop using that one. Actually, if, you know what? Let's do that first. Let's stop using that one. So our color palette with our object selected, we'll go to our material tab, find our base color. We've got our image texture here. We'll press the X. Let's get rid of that. We'll press open. Uploaded my environment texture from a different game I was working on. <laughs> I just noticed it has this little death knight here in the corner. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, so this is a texture I made uh, from a previous game I was working on. And I like this one. It's got a good range of colors. It's got your nature in the top uh, uh, top right corner. It's got a wide range of colors. It's got those different tones. It's got a couple of gradients for like wood and uh, other things. I think I think this top, I think this right side was spells. They look really saturated. Probably spells or flowers or something. So I'm gonna use this texture. Let's go ahead and quickly map it. Let's quickly just quickly map it here. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna just do this off screen for you guys. Okay, so I've gone ahead and retextured or reassigned the UVs to my texture map, which is the one here. And I think it looks it's looking pretty good. So now we can go ahead and create our texture on the stone tower. So we'll tab in edit mode. We will press three for face select. Select a face here and we'll just press control plus 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 plus. And I'm just gonna press N and bring up my shortcut keys so you guys can see. N to close that tab. And that's looking pretty good. So with everything selected, I want to hide everything else but this. So I believe it's Alt H. Nope. Shift H. There we go. And then we can just tab out. We can just select these and we can hide those. There we go. Select our model, tab back in. And this is what we're going to be working on here. Let's go into front view and I'll do Shift A and I will create a cube. And this is going to be our block. This is or our stone. So we're just going to kind of space it out a bit. Let's bring it to the front here. Oops. What happened? GY, bring it to the front so it's right in front and kind of get an idea of the scale. Just scale and adjust however we want it. Let's do Shift D. Let's see what that looks like. All right. Do we, do we want them three thick? Let's see. How's that look? Might be too thick. I don't know. Yeah, that might be too thick. Let's do something a little smaller. Just select those faces, delete them. And then we'll scale this down a bit. Okay. That looks like a good size. We'll do Shift D with all those faces selected. Bring it up. We'll kind of center it, and they'll do, we could do something where, okay, so we'll leave that. So we're just going to create the edge here. So if we were to duplicate this again, bring it along the X, oops, bring it along the X axis, the front view, you can see that we're going to end up with a jagged edge on the side. So what we're going to do is just grab this face, G and X, G to grab along the X axis. What happened there? Why did it snap like that? 
Okay. So we'll, we'll undo that. Control Z. And then we're just going to press Control A. Hold on. Tab out. Control A. Apply all the transforms. Tab back in. Apparently the scale on this is too small. So G, Z, or G and X, sorry. Bring this over. And it snaps again. Okay, so we're going to have to adjust our project settings. Go to our workspace, auto merge. And for now, let's just turn auto merge off. We'll do control Z to move this back over. And then G and X, bring this over. Boom, there we go. No more auto merging. And we don't want this lined up perfectly because these are bricks in a brick building that has been done by hand. So we'll just leave it like that. And we're going to want to turn this into a pattern. So this right now isn't really patternable. So we've got to do some adjustments here. We could do... So let's see here. we got an open block here. Let's, let's create another block here. Okay, let's do that. Actually, undo that. Do select this one, Shift D, bring this down here. There we go. Select these, Control plus plus, Shift D, and Shift D. How does that look? It doesn't. Uh, I don't know. I don't really like that. Okay, undo that undo that. Okay, so we're just going to delete this one. We're just going to create the whole base. Shift D. And we'll do Shift D along the X axis. Shift D, X axis. And then we'll do Shift D one more time. Okay. And we'll do the same up here. Shift D. Shift D, Shift D. Okay. So then we'll take this bottom one. Actually, we'll do one more. Shift D. And then we'll do Shift D again. Bring this down along the Z axis. And then this is the one we'll bring in along the side. So just select this face, G and X. Bring this in. Looks good. So how's that look? Okay, looks pretty good. So we'll select all, whoops, uh, select this face, just select these faces, holding down shift, and then we'll do control plus plus, so it selects all the faces that it's connected to, and then we'll just grab it, center it as best we can, we'll scale it all along the x-axis, until it fits in nicely, and we could... Let's go right to the edge. It's going to look a little weird at first, but I'll show you what we're going to do. So we'll scale right to the edge there. And... Okay, I think that looks good. Okay, so now we're going to go into our modifier tab. And to make this a little bit easier, we're just going to, before we do that, we'll press P with everything selected. Press P and we'll separate by selection. So it's going to separate the selected stuff into a new object. So we can tab out of this. Select this church, press H to hide, select our bricks, tab back into edit mode, and now we can start modifying this. Go to our modifiers tab, the wrench, we'll use an array, and we don't want to go left and right, we want this to go up. So we'll do the X axis 0, the Z axis 1, and we'll just zoom in here, see how much room we have. We'll just adjust this one until it's kind of got a little bit of a space, just like the rest of the bricks. There. That looks good. <clears throat> and now we want to go straight up, so we'll increase the count. Let's start with 12. Let's bring our church back in. Let's see how high we need to go. Okay, let's go a couple more. Oh, wow. That fits right in perfectly. Okay, that looks good. So what we can do is select the down arrow, tab out of edit mode, select the down arrow, click apply. We now have all of these bricks. So we'll hide this church again. 
and we're going to apply a material to these bricks. It already has the church material. So let's go into UV editing. U, unwrap, project from view. And let's just give this a color that's easier to see. Let's give it a dark gray. There we go, so it's not black in our screen. And even that seems dark. Why is this shiny? So turn the specular down, roughness all the way up. And maybe we'll just brighten this up even more until we're done working with it. Okay, that looks good. Now, we need this four times. But before we do that, we're going to want to adjust these bricks so that they don't look like somebody placed them in Blender. They look like they've been placed there in real life. Uh, okay, so we can do, what we can do here is we'll hide the church again, select our bricks, and we can go P to separate. And we can do by loose parts. And now this is going to separate everything that is loose. Why does that face? Why did that face look weird? Face orientation. No, oh, looks good. Okay. So now we have all. Now all these bricks are separate. We can go and select them all. B for box select. Select them all. Don't accidentally select your light. Stop it. Hold on. Box select. Box select. There we go. And now we need to set the origin of each brick to where it's actually located right now because if we try to rotate this you see it's it's all of them are inheriting the same rotation that we had from the original cube so what we can do is space to bring up our tool menu we can search and we will do start typing in origin two and then we can do geometry and there you go now each individual cubes origin has been set to the center of its geometry. So now if we rotate all of them, whoops, but we can rotate them, <laughs> we can rotate them individually, that, that, that doesn't quite, yeah, you'll see. So now with all of those objects selected, we'll go to the top here, top left, object, transform, and we'll randomize the transform. This little bottom bar is going to show up here. And now we can start adjusting the location, rotation, and scale. I'm just going to zoom in here a bit, try to get a good view of what the bricks are looking like. And we'll start adjusting the rotation. I'm just holding down shift and dragging. You can see it subtly. You probably can't see it in the video. Let's go to front view. It's probably easier to see. Scale. If I move this rather far you guys can see what I'm talking about. Let's move this back to 1. 1.1. 1 .1. Well that's a bit too much. 1.02. 1 1.02. Maybe even that's not enough. 1.05. I'm just going to do 1.05 on all the scales. And then what about location? Just kind of play around with it. You don't want to move it too much because then it'll start looking really weird. <laughs> yeah, you don't want it to end up like that. Oh, okay, and I just messed it up. <clears throat> so what you don't want to do is tab out or do any editing because then you'll lose the options. The uh, the option menu down here. So just open that back up. And we will adjust the Y coordinates. We'll put that back to zero because that's way too much. Hold down Shift. Let's look at it from the side view. That looks good. And then from the top view, looks good. Front view. Oh, even that's a bit too much. Let's go to Object, Transform, Randomize Transform. And we'll bring the Z down. Maybe I can remove the highlight. Let's remove the highlight there. The uh, selected object highlights. Where is that? Outline selected. There we go. And then if we turn on something like uh, 
Let's go solid view. And then cavity. There we go. I don't know if that makes it any easier to see. Transform, randomized target, or randomized transform. Man, this is really messed up. Why is it so bad now? Okay, it's just undo everything. Control Z, Control Z. Object, transform, randomize. Seriously. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is it doing that? Okay. Is that is that back to normal? It looks normal. Okay. Front view. You just want to be subtle with this. You don't want to do too much like me. All right. Let's ro randomize the rotation on a few of these. Location. There we go. There we go. Just just subtle. You don't you don't want to do too much here. And you know what? Maybe I want to give it a bit of depth. So I'm just going to adjust the Y location. So some of them stick out. There we go. That looks good. Okay, we're done. So we'll select all these. They're all still selected. And we'll just press Control J. Why can we not press Control J? Why can we not join these? Oh, probably because there's no active object. So if you select a bunch of things and they're all orange, you're going to need a light orange one like this. So you just hold down Shift and select an object. So now that should work. Control J, there we go. So we basically have like what all of these objects are going to join to. We'll just select that one. And then we've got to reset our orientation. So we'll just do origin to geometry, press space. And it should, our, our previous command should pop up right away, origin to geometry. We'll press Control A to apply all of our transforms. Um, so once you apply your transforms, then set origin to geometry. And then we can just rename this church wall. All right, so now if you are going to texture this, let's remove that plane there. If you were going to texture this, if I was you, I would tab into edit mode. I would do Z wireframe. And I would just box select all of these faces here along the back. Press X, delete faces, because they're unnecessary, you don't need them. And that will, it's not going to, I mean, this is, these are squares, but it's, it's not going to help too much, but it's, it's, it's good to get into the habit, especially this being a brick, like this is probably, you're probably only going to texture like four bricks and then duplicate it, but uh, it's good to clean up your geometry before you start going off and throwing this into a video game. If you're not putting it in a video game, don't worry about it. Control Z, undo. Or if you're using a texture map like I am, don't worry about it. So now we have our wall. Let's bring back our church. Let's see how it looks. Looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is top view. And I'm going to do Shift D. G, Y, bring this up. Go into side view. I'm just going to push this right into the wall with G and Y. Okay, and we're going to need to adjust our wood paneling there. How does that look? Looks pretty good. And then we're just going to grab the front one and the top one, or the front and the back, sorry. Shift D, and then rotate Z 90 degrees, enter. And how does that look? It's looking pretty good. No weird shapes, no nothing like that. Looks good to me. And because I like to clean up my geometry, I'm just going to tab in edit mode here, wireframe. And you can kind of see the outline here of where the front, if we go into solid, or let's do material view. You can see that there's uh, this front, like, I don't know what you call this, the roof. The roof here and this wall, like there's nothing, you can't see any of the bricks under there. So, I'm just going to go ahead and use those as guidelines. I'm going to do B for box select, or no, C. I'm going to scroll wheel, bring this up a bit. And I'm just going to select everything under that roof. Just like that. And 
maybe not too close to that one. All right, let's check it. Solid view. Oh, well, there is a face there, so I'll unselect that one. And there's a face there that's going to disappear, so I'll unselect that one. There we go. That looks good. So now we can just do Control plus plus plus. Let's see how does it look now. Yeah. So we don't want these faces gone. Let's select those. I'm just holding down Shift and right clicking. There we go. And now we can press X, delete faces, and we saved ourselves a bunch of geometry. We can do the same on the sides here. Side view, tab in edit mode, and we'll do C. And just check. Yeah, nothing. So delete those faces. Go over to this side. Press C again. Control plus plus plus. Solid view. You don't really have to do this, like I said, if you're uh, just modeling a scene, or if you're just learning, you don't you don't have to do this. But uh, if you're making a video game, like I'm probably going to end up using this in a video game, so I need to clean up the geometry now before I forget. So we don't want those faces gone. And we'll just press X, delete faces. Looks good. And the back is fine. There we go. Check this on the front view. It's looking pretty good. Now let's go ahead and select these wood panelings and let's extend those out. So let's go select our tower, our church, sorry. Tab into edit mode. Face select. Uh, wireframe view. I'm just going to grab these all in wireframe. And I'll just do B to grab. Select all, B to grab, select all. Do we grab all the wood? Yep. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to scale, S to scale. And we're not going to want to scale it up and down, so we'll do Shift Z so it doesn't scale on the Z axis. Oh, interesting. It's connected right to our freaking tower. Okay. So what we can do is P, separate by selection, tab out, select our wood, tab back in, select all, S to scale, Shift Z so it doesn't scale up and down, hold down Shift. And just bring it out until it's bigger than our bricks. Okay, we got a bit of an issue there, so we're just going to undo that. And now we're going to do face select. We're just going to grab the front faces on these. Uh, the benefits and disadvantages of working with... Uh, Uh, what do you call it? What's the thing? Auto merge. Yeah. Auto merge. What a lovely tool. Okay. All those faces selected. We'll bring our church wall back. And then we'll do the same again. Scale. Shift Z. And we'll hold down Shift. And now it'll scale up just those faces that we need. How's that look? Let's tab out. Material view. That's looking pretty good. It's a bit of a gap there, eh? Maybe we'll bring that down. Just gonna grab these bottom faces. This is just my personal preference. You guys don't have to do this. And then we'll do G and Z. Bring it down. There we go. Okay, that looks good. I like that. Um, we're going to repeat the top process here for the top part, but I'm going to do that off camera because that's pretty straightforward. Uh, the other thing I want to show you guys before I go, UV editing. And we'll go into material preview. And now with our, actually let's join our bricks now. So let's hold down shift, select all these brick walls. Uh, control J to join. Looks good. And now we can go into UV editing. Everything looks good. And we can just do unwrap, project from view. 
and now we have all of our bricks. Now we could scale this down, set it on a brick color, and it would look fine. But uh, that's not how real life works. So what we're going to do is with in edit mode with everything selected, actually we'll unselect everything, so double tap A. We'll do select, uh, make sure it's on the model window, select, select random. And now at the bottom here we can adjust the percentage of how much randomness we want to select. So let's select maybe, I don't know, let's do 20%. 20% and now 20% of the faces are selected. And now we can come over to the UV window and press G to grab and we can select a dark brick color. And then we can do the same back over here. Do select, random, oops, unselect those original ones, select, random, and we'll do another 20%. Then we'll come over here and just make these second level of darkness. And then we can do the same thing again. Unselect everything, select, random, 20%. And we'll just put these over in the even lighter color. G to grab, move over. And you know what, we'll do it even one more time. Double A to unselect everything, select random. And maybe we'll bring this down to 10%. And then we'll just G to grab, bring these ones over here. Oops. If you guys can't see what I'm doing here, just grabbing these, bringing them over. Grab these, bring them over. There we go. All right, let's go into our layout view. Let's see how that looks. Let's check rendered view. Looks really good. I like that. Those dark bricks are a bit too dark, hey? And then it's kind of weird with like how the, the brick is dark and then it goes light. So <clears throat> let's go to our UV editing. Let's select our... Let's just grab some of these dark ones here that we have. This is where the tedious work comes in. That looks good. I'll check this side. There we go, and then we'll do our control plus plus. We'll grab all these, scale them down. There we go. So now the faces are all the same color. The rest of them should be fine. Maybe this brick here. Yeah, it's got a few of them. But generally, I mean, it's not going to be much of an issue. All right, so we're going to add one more thing here. Um, we can do, we'll hide the church, H to hide. Got our nice tower here now. Uh, we're going to do Shift A, Cube, and we'll just scale this down slightly. Bring this up, we'll go into Top View. I just want to get an idea of the scale that we need here. Scale it down a bit. There we go. How's that look? Maybe there? So it's kind of over the wood paneling, but like larger than the bricks. There we go. And then we'll just scale Z, GZ, bring this down, scale Z. Huh. It's quite a bit bigger than I wanted it to be. Okay. Let's scale it down even more. Uh, scale, Shift Z. There we go. That looks good. Let's see that. All right, I like that. Now, I I would probably I I would probably do this as stone because uh well, I don't know. It's, would probably would probably be stone. But uh, I'm just going to do wood here to save time. I'm going to shift D duplicate these and then I'm going to shift D 
duplicate these, bring them along the y-axis, eyeball it, looks good. And then I'm just going to go into UV editing. How's that look here? Yeah, okay. UV editing, select all of those. Make sure I have all the faces selected. Um, okay, so we're going to join this object, these pillars that we made, with this tower. So we'll select the pillars, select the wood, and select the bricks. Control J. There we go. We'll tab into edit mode. And now we can just select our pillars. And we have all the material settings we need. And we'll just unwrap, project from view. And we'll scale those down. Just give it a nice wood color. See how it looks in material view. There we go. Okay, and now these these highlight woods are just a bit too... I don't know, it just looks a bit too thin. It looks a bit weird. So what we can do is... I'm not sure if we should make those smaller or the pillars bigger. Hmm. Alright, let's make the pillars bigger. So we'll tab in to edit mode, top view. And we can do uh, scale, shift Z. It's going to bring them out. Let's see how that looks. There we go. That looks a lot better. Yeah, I like that. And then I'm just going to bring up these faces here. Whoa. Getting all messed up here. Face, face. so hard to work in this UV editing window. Let's go back to layout window. All right. Face and then G to grab. Whoops, G to grab. And just bring them up right along there. Maybe even a little bit more. There we go. I think that looks good. Okay, unhide our church. Let's see, what are we looking like? I think that's looking a lot better. Let's go to our camera view. Let's render this out. All right, there we go. It's coming along pretty good. I like it already. We got those those wrought iron railings on the top. We got some nice bricks with different colors. We got some actual support beams on the church. We can go ahead and add some more bricks on the top after. Uh, we can still adjust the walls. We can still adjust the base. The base stuff here, that's probably going to be stone. Uh, we can add some wood paneling in here. Uh, we can put some... Uh, shingles on the roof, uh, maybe turn these edges into wood as well. There's a lot of things we could do, so come back for part, I guess it'll be part five. And if you made it this far, thank you. Thank you for making it this far. And I'm sorry I'm all up, I'm all over the place today. It's It's been a busy day. So, I'll see you guys in part five.